Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to A Touch of Evil, The Banshee, Turn 9. Okay, here we are. Anything from last turn? Well, yes, a couple of things. When the Banshee came out and got put to the, what was it, the Town Hall, I was busy looking through the rule book <laughs> for what happened, whether she came off or not. And it was actually on the Banshee Minion chat all the time. So I was just looking in the wrong place. Um, what happens is, if there's nobody there, Banshee comes off the board. You put two Investigation in that spot, which was the Town Hall. And you move the Shadow Track on one. So the Shadow Track is actually at 14, not 15. And because the Shadow Track moved, Sarah lost an Investigation. So she's now on zero Investigation. But Valeria gained it. So she's now on four. She does have enough to sort of um, co-opt the Widow, the Widow Jessica. But as we're on 14 on the... Shadow track, I'll leave it for the time being because if we just go under 13 onto 12, we cross one of those boundary lines and it just means the widow Jessica goes back to her hut on the beach, which isn't very helpful. So, if we can keep Valeria with these for investigation, then hopefully, what we can do is just before any showdown, we will spend the four investigation. That will get us an extra town elder, in effect, because Widow Jessica will be bought as an ally, so we can choose two more uh, town elders uh, to be part of our hunting party. So I think we will do it that way. Right, I think that was the only changes from last turn, the only upkeep that we had to do. So our first player is going to be Eliza the Witch Hunter, and she's at the Old Woods. So let's pop across to the Old Woods and begin the hero phase. And here we are at the hero phase, and here she is, Eliza witch hunting in the old woods so let's roll for movement and she rolls a two which is rubbish so ugh. right the, the thing is it might be worth getting it to the town hall but ugh. yeah if we go via the covered bridge so we go one two so at least she gets to the town hall, she'll be able to pick up a couple of investigation, hopefully. As mentioned, those investigation come from the Banshee going there during the mystery phase last turn. So she's at the covered bridge. So let's have a read of the text. We may as well zoom in. Let's put that there, if we've got to do any rolling. Right, let's zoom in. And here we are with Eliza, she's at the covered bridge. There's no minions, so we don't have to do any fighting. So first thing we'll do is it doesn't have a deck of its own. So it is just doing the text, which is roll a d6. On a three plus, we draw an event. On a one or a two, we draw a mystery card. Needless to say, we don't want a one or a two. We do want to get the dice in the dice tower. And we get a five. That's great. So, we draw an event. Coolness. Whoop. And we get... Endurance. Ooh. Play immediately. Play this card on any hero remains in play so somebody gets plus one wound we've got to play it immediately so we can't keep it for later and the person we're going to play it on is valeria because valeria's only got three wounds as it stands eliza's already got five but with her militia soldier and the four that she started with and sarah the bright witch has four wounds because she's got oath of the hunter so Let's get Valeria up to four wounds as well, and we will put Endurance with her. So, not a bad event card. She gets an extra wound. Excellent. 
Right, so that's that. There's no investigation to collect. We're not going to heal a wound because we haven't got any. We're not going to investigate any elders. We're not buying lair cards, starting a showdown. And we are not exchanging any cards. So that is it for Eliza. Next up will be Sarah the Bright Witch. And she's at the monastery. So let's move across to Echo Leak. And here we are with Sarah. Righty ho, so... Let's roll for movement. She rolls a four. Now, what she can do, she could go through the secret passage and go all the way across here to the manor, which would be okay because there's three investigation there and we could have a go at them. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to North Dock. So we'll go to North Dock. The reason for that is there's two investigation there we can have a go at. And then we can always just pop back to the monastery next turn and see if we can get an extra, uh, we can buy some extra stuff. In fact, I did forget, but I've remembered now, she has got, what is it? Strength of light. So she should have got two investigation at the start of the turn. I'll give her those now. So she's at two investigation already because of strength of light. She got a four, so she's just going to move to North Dock. Let's zoom in on North Dock. Let's move that across, just in case we have to do a roll. Right oh, let's zoom in. And here we are at North Dock. So let's just move those out of the way. No minions, so we don't have to uh, fight anything. Right, so it's exactly the same, I think, as the covered bridge. We roll a D6, and we need a three plus. One or two, we will be drawing a mystery card so come on oh come on a four again cool right so we've got away with that so we get the miss uh, we get the event card again whoop Well, on the event cards, strength of courage, another play immediately, an event honor, play this card on any hero, that hero immediately gains plus one honor marker, oh right, what's this on the card, oh that's not very good is it, that is actually on the card that, that isn't anything I dripped on the card, hmm bad printing, Wonder if, uh, wonder if we can get that replaced. Not very good. Not very good flying frog. Look at that. Right, anyway, play immediately. Plus one honour. So who are we going to give that to? Who's got the crappiest honour? Eliza's got the crappiest honour. So we'll play immediately and we'll give her a plus one honour marker. Right. Dig one out. So there we go, that'll put Eliza up to three honour. So we've done that, and for the first time in the game, <laughs> what we can do is we can actually uh, try and get pick up some investigation. So how we do this is we do a cunning or a spirit five plus test. And for every five plus that we roll, we get to pick up an investigation. Let's see what Sarah's best attribute is. She's got a spirit of four and her cunning is two. So she's gonna use spirit, so that's four dice. three sixes so she picks up both of them that puts her on to four that is brilliant so she has now got four investigation well done and let's keep all them sixes put them in the happy pile right get rid of the three um done that we are not healing any wounds because we haven't got a wound. 
We're not going to investigate any elders. We're not going to buy a layer card. We're not going to start showdown. And we are not going to exchange cards. That is it for Sarah. Let us move on to Valeria. She's in the town square at Tidewater. And here's Valeria. Okay, so she's going to roll for movement. <laughs> six again. Amazing. Keep them happy, dice. Because she's got a six, she's going to go one to the docks, and then she's going to use two of them to go to the icy waters, where we have three investigation. Again, we're going to go for it. Let's put this over here. We're going to go for it, and we're going to do the icy waters text. Again, same as North Dock, same as the covered bridge. If we get a three or better, we're going to get an event card. Let's zoom in. And here we are. So let's use that six again. A four. That's above a three. So we get yet another event card. We're getting some stuff together now. Perhaps a few more decent weapons and we can go for that showdown. Let's see what this event will give us. Oh, Endurance again. Play immediately. It's that Wound card. So who are we going to give this to? Ooh. Well, Sarah's got four wounds. Valeria's got four wounds. And Eliza's got five. So, ooh. much of a muchness, isn't it, really? Uh, let's give it Valeria, I think, because her spirit is still not up to four. So uh, it's she's only got three spirit at the moment, so perhaps she may need that extra wound because of the spectre ability of the Banshee. So she's now, she's been, obviously she's been to the gym in Tidewater. She's pumped some iron. She's feeling good. She's like, uh, she's pumped her guns and she's ready. So... <laughs> So she's done pretty well there. Excellent. Okay, so there's three investigation. So what she's going to do, she's going to do exactly the same as what Sarah did last turn. She's going to try and pick those up. Now she's got a spirit of three and a cunning of four because she's got the founder's journal. So she's going to use cunning. So let's use those uh, funky dice that rolled three sixes last time. But only roll one six this time. Boo! Hiss. So she only manages to pick up one. But that does put her onto five. She now has five investigation. Okie dokie. Right. So she's not going to heal any wounds because she hasn't got any. She's not going to buy a lair card. She's not going to start a showdown. She's not going to exchange any cards or anything or do any trading. So that is it. That is it for the hero phase. So it is now our favourite phase. The laugh and chuckle phase. Yes. Roll up for the mystery phase. And here we are. Looking at the board. Where is everybody? Well our first player, Eliza. She's at the covered bridge. And we've got Sarah at North Dock. And we have got Valeria in the icy waters just over here. Okay, so minion movement. We haven't got any minions, so that is fine. Um, KO'd heroes standing up. We haven't got any KO'd heroes. Villain, nothing up with a villain, so that's fine. So it is the advanced cooperative mystery phase chart. Always a joy. Let's get two black dice. Let's do the deed. Ooh, it's a five. Eight. I think we've got a new one for a change. It's not going to be nice, but oh, murder, murder. Arr. Draw a random location and place, th place three investigation there. Move the shadow track one step closer to darkness. This counts as though the mystery card murder had been played, played for villain abilities. Right. Random location. The 
the stone bridge so that's up there right under the uh, dice tower right that gets three investigation discard stone bridge and let's move this around so there we go but we've got a check on the banshee I think something does happen anytime the mystery card murder is played place an extra two investigations at the location as well as two investigation in every adjacent space and move the shadow track one extra step closer to darkness so that's two steps so to 13 with the original roll and plus an extra one because of what it says on the banshee so she gets plus two wounds damn So that's bad. So what's that? Six, seven, eight with the boatman. So she's at 20 wounds now. Oh, damn. Right. So that's just the way it goes. We will have to start this showdown very quickly, I think. Right, so we've done that. That was two movements on the shadow track. So Sarah loses two investigation and they go to Valeria. So Valeria now has seven investigation and Sarah the Bright Witch has two. Um, and we've got to put every adjacent. Yeah, we get two extra for the stone bridge, putting it up to five. And each adjacent space gets two. So there we go. That's quite that's quite a lot of investigation up there. Let's get Valeria up there, I think. Uh, just before the showdown, see how many she can uh, pick up. That's pretty cool. Right, so put the Banshee back right out of the way. No, oh, she's getting pretty tough, that banshee. No! So, that is the cooperative mystery phase chart, and we still have all the fun of the fair with the mystery cards. So. Yep. Murder. <laughs> the villain has struck again. Place three invest investigations on the board at a random location. Move the shadow trick one step close to darkness, except it's two because we know what the Banshee's abilities are. So we're down to ten. This is rocketing along now. We may have to start the showdown. Um, so we're at ten. We're at ten on the shadow track. We've got to pick that location. is the beach everything is happening on the coast board two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it will actually get five the beach so it gets three because of the murder card but it gets an extra two because of the banshee and we get another two in the adjacent space there and another two in the town square whoa it's just all going on in it's all going on in tidewater look at all that investigation right shadow track went down to 10 so that's another two so the last two investigation that sarah the bright witch had end up being transferred across to valeria who's now got nine i'm just gonna So 
was going to change five of hers for a bigger token, a five token. So Valeria has nine investigation. Yes, I think perhaps if she goes back to the beach, tries to get those five investigation, and then goes to the town square, tries to get the investigation there, tries to buy some, um, obviously tries to buy some uh, decent weaponry, I think. And then let's have a showdown. So let's discard the beach card. Discard that murder card. And put the mystery deck back. Right, move the first player token. Sarah will be first player next turn. So she didn't really keep hold of her investigation much, did she? <laughs> She's ended up giving it all away because the actual shadow track has moved four times in that turn, which is bad. Thankfully, we don't actually lose that investigation. It just gets transferred to Valeria, but whew, just goes to show how quickly that shadow track can start moving. So we're going to have to, uh, I think we're going to have to crack on. But it still was a pretty good turn, I think. Uh, Valeria got two extra wounds because we picked the endurance event out a couple of times. We did really well on those events at North Dock, Covered Bridge and the Icy Waters. All resulted in event cards, I think. What was the other event card that wasn't endurance? Um, I think it was a plus one honour, wasn't it? Which we gave to Eliza. So that's pretty good. So, yeah, we've done all right. I think we've done all right. So, all we need now is some weaponry. Because we do use combat against the Banshee. We've got the flail. That's good. But, perhaps um, a musket or two wouldn't go amiss. Something like that. Some firepower. There's only Eliza that can use guns. But, if we can get at least one good gun, then she can have that, I think. When we have the showdown, everybody will be stubbed together, so we can actually, uh, I believe, we can actually um, trade cards and everything at that point. So that shouldn't be a problem. Whoever picks up the gun might not be able to use it, but they should be able to transfer it to Eliza at the showdown, I think. Okay, right. So, yes, that's it. Um, one of the... So one of the side effects, one of the silver linings has been the amount of investigation that's now gone on the board, uh, particularly in Tidewater. There's just investigation all over the shop. So perhaps if we can pick up a few of those, we can actually do that shopping in Tidewater. So it looks like Valeria's going to be very busy, it looks like. Uh, apart from that, I think that is it. Yes... Just the bummer about the Banshee getting all those extra wounds and the Shadow Track going down. Right, oh, so that is it for turn nine of A Touch of Evil, the Banshee. So uh, if you've noticed any cock ups or anything like I normally do, um, by all means, please mention it in the comments and I'll do my best to fix it. Um, thanks very much for all the subscriptions. Thank you very much for all the comments, for all the support and all the views. It is very much appreciated. As are all of you who've gone across the board game links to upvote the site. Thank you very much. I hope that you join me next time for what will be turn 10 of A Touch of Evil, The Banshee. But until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. To Lou.